Hello, everyone. My name is Jamal Jones, Senior Service Art Instructor at Harriet G. Donnell Center. Today, we're going to do a three-tone picture. Last week, I did a two-tone. So we're going to do a three-tone uh, painting. So how, I got, how you get started on doing two or three tones, I always do the background first. The reason I do the background first, when I build the colors up, It'll bring, it'll bring my image out better. So this is how I started <clears throat> with the two-tone. Now, now I come in and put my features in. Draw my image. You have to do a layering on the paint. With acrylics, you got to layer on your colors and overlap. That's how you get your, your tones and things you want to do with your picture. And main thing is to get your sketch in, what your idea. That's the main thing you're doing, you're doing your artwork. Is to get your sketch and that's the main thing. All your pictures, and you shake it as you go. The main thing, the one thing is just enjoy. There's no mistakes in art. Just this, I say, always just discoveries. So, I get started. I add my tones in. I already got yellow on the background and orange, so I come back and, and come up and put my I just put my light tones in. And I go ahead and put my colors in like I want it. And then I come back and add my, my dark tones. Sometimes I'll add another color, like a, a, a deep brown to a find that some tones. This, this technique is called wet to wet. While the paint is still wet, if I come in and, and, and start add, adding my shape, my shape of the face. It'll take time, but my acrylic don't, it don't dry so fast, so you gotta work real fast with it, just to keep moving with it. And when I'm blending my colors, I use the tip of my brush. I'm going to use the flat of the brush. It's something that all artists call muck art. It's going to look at all, everything blend together. So I'm just shaping it as I go. Like I said, and with the white, I come back and put my highlights, put my highlights in. And I start blending together. It's real soft. And you're moving around the whole picture, but like I say, a curly dry so fast, and you want to kind of get your ideas in. You're layering on your tone, your colors. And you're shaping, like around the chin, the cheek, the chin, you shape it, and shape it, shape the face, nose. And one thing I love to do, it's bring my eyes out first so that I see what I'm doing. See where I got to go with. So I put my white in for my eyes. This paint is still kind of wet, so uh, it, it, won't, it, it won't dry. And yeah. Like I said, I use a little brown for the eyes on to, to bring the eyes out. Level. So, and I'm it's almost like uh, painting. It's almost like you're working with clay. You still in mold. You still is shaping it up. Painting, just having fun with this. It's so much fun painting. 
you can uh, it's, it's take you all, take you in a whole new world. The world of creativity. I can move, so I got to go there. Make sure I'm really here. Okay. That's it. I'm still shaking. And it's like I'm using the tip of my brush and blending in my colors, shaping my face. And just having fun. We just stuck. And I can say, no mistakes. In art. Most so called mistakes are discovered, that's how I see it. So that's the fingers do the walking. So as, I'm, as, as I'm shaping it, this, this technique is called wet to wet. The paint is still wet, so I'm still shaping. Net. Same thing, I'm using yellows and oranges. I'm just gluing my colors around and enjoying. Don't worry about how the colors are flowing. But once you blend it in, it's going to shake itself out. Last week I said we did a two-tone using blue and, and um, white. But you don't have to have that many colors to create your to recreate. Now I'm going back to my white. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna just keep adding my, my colors in as I go. Come back up there. Why this is still kind of um, leathering because it's, as art you say this is getting really drying. So I'm just throwing my colors in. And I use on this technique, I use a dry brush. A dry brush, <coughs> any kind of brush you use for your dry brush. And what you do, you use the tip, you use the tip of your brush to blend your colors in. So in the dry brush, I'm coming in just, just, just blending my colors in. So that's the color is shaping itself out. And once I get these colors in, I, I see I see my light coming in now. It's moving around. Have fun. Don't make it technical. You make it technical, you won't finish. So just, just, just discover. Let, let the paint tell you what to do. Then, then you, then you'll see, see how it's going. Just, just blend with the paint. Come back and keep shape. I know, I know some highlights in that nose. So I do. So I'm shaping the face at, at forehead, I'm, I'm, I'm just moving, just shaping. So let's put a little highlights in that nose. Now find me here. So while that drying, I'm coming to shape my main thing. Uh, put, put a hat on. This picture makes, next week we'll finish this picture up because it takes a lot of movement. Like I did that, like I was doing this picture here. I keep layering on, layering on until I get my perfect uh, idea of what I want to do. Um, a lot of times when I'm playing like this, I, sometimes you can listen to music and, uh, and I let it flow back when I hit it. Flow of the music, I just, 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 I dance my brush with the music. So I'm putting this white on here and I'm, I'm using transparency, but you, but you can almost see the background. Then I add, I come back in detail so it look like Safan, like you like see through the material. It look rich. I haven't forgot about that. When I when I go back to that to blend it in, I'm, I'm still using my dry brush. But I'm show you how to take me. Come back and just just just, just that and come back and do it that way. Okay, that's the problem with that right 
Amen. So, okay, let me show you how to lay those, those tunnels in. Like I said, took the brush and just glide, just glide it over. Have fun. All right, it's so much fun. Are you at home? And that, that canvas you bought last summer or last winter, and you've always said, I want to paint, this is the time to do it. Pull it out, and you start painting. And you can make it uh, a family thing, just everyone paint, make a, have your own personal gallery. It's, it's a joy of art, see that? It's shaping out as, as it's drying, let it that dry. Then when I come back, I keep layering all my, my other colors. And now, main thing, I'm trying to get my idea. So this, this is a necklace. So I'm, I'm going to put it in right now. This is how, how it's going to look. And right now, I'm just putting it on there. I can shape it later. When I use uh, something you can use to shape the, the uh, piece. This is called, it's a shop. It's, a, it's really a fabric tank, but it's good for detail. These sharp, sharp detail uh, colors. Uh, a lot of artists use it. Some of them don't, but uh, it's to me, it's, it's, it's it, it takes the picture to a whole new level. Like I said, just enjoy. So now I put the clip on. Add a closer. I try to do everything. Try to bring everything out. And then I go back in different areas and I can start shaping what I really want out of the picture. So, so what I'm doing now, I'm, I'm changing the movement of the picture. That's the whole idea in art, is, is the flow. Yeah, you have it flowing. So I'm shaping, I'm, I'm, I'm changing the whole movement of the picture. Just like this picture here, when I put those waves in the picture, you kind of move the picture around. Okay. So what I'm doing is background, uh, come back and, 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 put, and put different tones of colors in there. So let's 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 uh, let's put her, let's put her lips in right now. Uh, next week we'll finish this picture off because you'll see how it just keep popping out, just like that blue picture. It, it, it just show that it's popping out. So I'm make some. This is like a, like I said, this is a maybe three three paint three paint picture three paints three paints. Got that? Oh, okay, now let's play around with this background. Background is the most, most fun part of it. I'm going to do almost the same background. Yeah, so I'm going to have the colors coming this way and around this way. That way I can say you, you shake the fish and you kind of push, push the main uh, uh, picture out. So I come with I come with the white first. I've got that, that strong. The yellow first, that strong white. I'm going to take away from it. So I'm just just come back, just like I said. Come back this way with it and have fun. On this side. Like you see, I'm just I'm layering all my colors. And I come back on the opposite side. Have having fun. It, it, it's, 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 it, it, it takes a life of its own. Painting takes a life of its own when you paint pain. Because if you get in the mode of pain, you get in the, you get in the, they say get in the artistic zone. Meaning that it's, 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 it's creativity just it, it's to, to take you away. A lot of people look at abstract painting and say, so what's that? But it really deep into looking at the artist's work. Let's see what he was talking about. And so uh, looking, look at what he named this picture. Then you'll see what he's saying. All paintings gonna have a gonna, gonna, gonna say something to you. And I just, just, let, just let me let me flow. So see, I'm using all these bright colors. So what I do, sometimes I come back and use a, a mustard yellow to kind of blend those tones right on in. It's that must it's, it's yellow, but it'll, it'll lock those colors red on me. Just, 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 just play with. I 
don't like paying, I'm paying kind of fast to get my ideas out. Then I go back and fine line, and bring everything together and keep shaping it till I get the exact thing I need out of this picture. So now I put this dark uh, mustard color on. And I come back with a darker mustard. See how that color, how that dark color uh, that lays on the picture. It, it really, it's really um, building up the colors. And, and I'm just going to see that. If you want to see the orange in the background once I come back, keep over, overlapping, overlapping. That's what acrylic paint is all about. It's overlapping your tone. Like I say, get your canvas out. If you don't got a canvas, get on some board, get some boards. I have, and, and when I was Really painting, they had me to paint on when I was younger. I used to get cardboard <laughs> and paint on it and prime it and uh, just your flow. Don't, don't say, oh, I ain't got this, so I can't paint. Just get your paint on, get your ideas out there. Don't, don't worry about it. And now I know exactly where I'm going to go with this picture now. So I, got, I got my movements coming in this way. And got my other foot going around her, her, her face. So, so right now, it's dark color. I go right back to the same thing I did with the light, the light colors. With my yellows, and I'm, I'm just overlapping. So that's why you, you get that real thick uh, tone. It's, it's just like oil paint. Oil paint is, it takes long as to dry, so you can kind of mimic your color right with acrylic. I always joke and say to my own self, you just gotta fool the colors. And how many see I'm fooling the colors is I'm, I'm, I'm keep putting color on top of colors and then I come step back from the picture and see where I'm at. See what I'm doing. And as you go, you'll start seeing what you were doing. So same look, same thing. I'm coming this way. And yeah, I come up a little white. I'm still just I'm trying to get rid of all that all that orange in the background, but she gonna be she gonna she's in an orange tone of color. So I don't, I don't really want that background to show through, but it's it's a, it, it helps you with your color because you ain't gotta use as much paint. You already did the background, so what you're doing is just uh, layering on your, your your ideas. You can do any kind of picture this way. You want to do a landscape or a still life, like go home and sit your still life up. You might have a plate at home, a carpet mug, a carpet jar. Set it up and just do it in two tones, see how you do. And man, what I do with that is I look in my eyes, see where the light is coming in at. So the light is coming this way. The light coming from the forward, then I, I, I bring the highlights in the cheeks, from the nose and the mouth. But right now, this is drying. So, I started layering on uh, something called washes. Washes is a thin tone of acrylic paint. And I'm using the same tones. I use a, a light orange, a wash orange, and all, all those colors up on it now will start shaking the face. So, okay, we tie this background. Let's work on his face a little bit. Let's say you're steady. Uh, Shaping your picture. It's a and uh, so, right now, is there, is there any questions? Hello. 